Hey all, welcome to Share Trek. Uh, this is Raj here. Uh, today we'll be discussing the top five uh, CRISPR gene editing companies that are leading the charge in genomic industry. As you know, gene editing technology has come a long way since its inception, and CRISPR has been a game changer in this field. It has revolutionized the way we approach genetic diseases and opened up new possibilities for personalized medicines. Uh, these companies have been in the forefront of developing innovative treatments and therapies using CRISPR, and their advancements are uh, poised to change the world of medicine as we know it. So without further ado, let's uh, dive into the top five CRISPR gene editing companies according to me. Let's get started. Hello and welcome back to our channel where we discuss the latest advancement in genomic investment companies. In this video, we will be discussing the top 5 CRISPR companies to watch in 2022. These companies are leading the way in the development of CRISPR gene editing technology which is poised to make significant breakthroughs in the treatment of various diseases. The first on my list is Beam Therapeutics and it has a market cap of $2.73 billion as of 1st of March 2023, and this company is focused on developing gene editing treatments for sickle cell disease. Beam's approach involves base editing, which differs from other companies' methods. Base editing uses parts from a uh, CRISPR system together with other enzymes to directly install point mutation into the cellular DNA or RNA without making double-stranded uh, DNA breaks. This means it keeps both strands of a DNA's double helix in intact, thereby lowering risk of genotoxic stress and other chromosomal abnormalities. I believe this is superior to CRISPR-Cas9, and it is more precise. Apart from this, uh, Beam also has got intellectual uh, rights because it has developed some of these technologies. Recently, the company announced encouraging interim results for their early stage trials showing positive safety and efficacy data for their sickle cell disease treatment, which is Beam 101. Beam 101, which has the potential to cure severe sickle cell disease and uh, TDT uh, by activating dormant fetal globin genes, hemoglobin genes, uh, is, in my opinion, uh, one of... Um, one of the leading uh, in its class uh, therapies, and it will provide a relief for the painful condition of SCD. Uh, and I think it's going to be superior in its class because of the way it approaches uh, the problem as compared to Bluebird Bio or CRISPR therapeutics. The company is also exploring the potential of using its base editing therapies to treat other diseases with single gene mutation, including DMD, progeria, and uh, LCA. One should remember that Verve 101, which is a base edited therapy, uh, is under FDA hold with a query about passing modification onto the germline. Until that uh, query uh, from FDA is cleared and until that hold is lifted, base editing for certain targets may attract similar holds. And this, of course, is my personal opinion. I think that's also weighing down on the share price for beam therapeutics. But um, uh, I read somewhere that ARK Investment feels that uh, it's only a matter of time before the hold is lifted and uh, that would remove the overhang on Beam uh, Therapeutics share value at the same time will be good for Verve. So with that said, my next, um, next thought goes to their strategic uh, partnership that they have with several healthcare companies like Pfizer and Verve. Uh, which have contributed to the company's revenue growth. So overall, I think uh, Beam is looking pretty good. And despite reporting an EPS loss of 4.13 in the last quarter of 2022, they just recently reported it, as against $3.59 loss for the first nine months of 2022, the company still has a strong uh, cash position of around $1 billion in its balance sheet as of 31st December 2022. And uh, as per my calculation, I think they would have enough cash to run up to 2025 at the current rate of consumption. They had earlier announced a collaboration with Boston Children's Hospital to develop a new CRISPR-based therapy for beta thalassemia, which is another uh, blood disorder. So uh, everything is working in sequence right from those days to where they are right now. They have made uh, good progress. But I have lamented elsewhere that their uh, progress of sickle cell uh, therapy is not as fast as CRISPR. And um, uh, still, they will still have some advantage because of superior therapy, best-in-class therapy when it gets approved. The company has 11 uh, programs in its pipeline. Of those, one is in cl a clinical trial, while three are in IND enabling stage. Next on my list is CRISPR Therapeutics. 
The next uh, pick is CRISPR Therapeutics, which has a market capitalization of 3.753 billion as of March 1, 2023, and is developing treatments for beta thalassemia, sickle cell disease, cancer, and other and diabetes and other unspecified um, uh, therapies in collaboration with uh, big uh, big pharma partners. CRISPR Therapeutics has made significant progress in clinical trials for the sickle cell disease treatment, with one patient being uh, patient being cured completely uh, of SCD, and the registering positive results from phase one clinical trial for their uh, TDT treatment with all patients showing an increase in hemoglobin levels. The company is now on the cusp of monetizing this therapy with Exacel for SCD and TDT uh, due to get approval um, within this year. So I'm really excited about it. Furthermore, the company received 900 million in funding for Vertex ph Pharmaceuticals to develop gene editing treatments for blood and genetic uh, diseases apart from other major alliances. And all these major alliances which have got uh, milestone payments uh, for uh, CRISPR uh, are going to keep on uh, funding CRISPR and it's a very good model for CRISPR therapeutics and keeps it financially strong. Its VCTX210 is progressing well in addressing type 1 diabetes, while VCTX211 and VCTX212, which address both T1D and T2D, are making steady progress into clinical trials in Canada. While the broadest pipeline, uh, with while having the broadest pipeline among its peer group, and with five candidates in clinical trial, CRISPR is a strong contender for a spot in the top five uh, in uh, CRISPR editing companies, as per my opinion. My next pick happens to be Editas Medicine. Editas Medicine is another major player in the CRISPR space with a market cap of around uh, 601.42 million. Just in the prior year, it had a market capital of, a capitalization of more than a billion. But as you know, friends, as the share price falls, so does the market cap. So right now, they're at 601.42 million as on 1st of March 2023. The company has dropped their LCA therapy after making good uh, progress. Uh, I made a uh, video earlier yesterday about Editas, so I will not mention much here. You can always check out that video in our YouTube channel homepage. Um, it was just published, I think, yesterday. Uh, so I would not take too much time in this video. I like to keep this short. My next pick is Intelia Therapeutics with the market capitalization of 3.58 billion as of March 1st, 2023. Intelia Therapeutics is focused on developing treatment for ATTR. Intelia Therapeutics has around nine active programs in its pipeline and collaborates with Novartis. Uh, its uh, lead therapies are NTLA 2001 and NTLA 2002, and it plans to submit an end application for NTLA 2001. And uh, for NTLA 2002, also it's uh, um, reportedly um, planning to uh, submit an end, uh, end enabling application. It reported collaboration revenue of 38.5 million, up 91% year over year. And it has around 1.3 billion in cash as of 31st December 2022. So that's uh, that's about uh, Intelia. And uh, the last uh, pick of mine is uh, Verve Therapeutics. Uh, finally, Verve Therapeutics is a company with a market capitalization of 1.13 billion as of 1st March 2023. And it's focused on developing treatments for cardiovascular diseases. Uh, the cholesterol-related uh, market is pretty big. And if the company succeeds, I think it's going to have a lot of uh, revenues coming its way. The company is taking a unique approach to gene editing using base editing to target genes associated with heart disease. The company is in a collaboration with Beam Therapeutics to develop gene editing therapies for cardiovascular disease. Verve 101, as I mentioned earlier, is on hold at uh, FDA with uh, questions around uh, changes in germline. However, it has a uh, go ahead, go ahead uh, as far as uh, the UK is concerned. It has got uh, something called as a passport in UK that allows it to proceed with its uh, uh, clinical trials. ARK Investment seems to believe that um, uh, the holds that FDA ha has on Verve 101 will eventually get lifted. And that would indirectly also help boost valuation of beam therapeutics along with valuation for uh, Verve. Uh, because uh, Beam has licensed the uh, base editing technology that Verve has used uh, in editing for Verve 101 therapy. So with all that said, my in conclusion, I would say that the top five CRISPR companies we have discussed today are all making significant progress in developing gene editing treatments for various diseases. Some are moving fast, some are moving a bit slow, some are moving in a deliberate fashion. Some of them, like Beam, for instance, uh, uh, example, are creating platforms. So they are all not uh, uh, apples to apples comparison. There are pluses and minus here and there. But overall, all of these companies are making a significant impact in CRISPR-edited uh, gene therapies. 
while there's still a long way to go, the potential of uh, CRISPR gene editing technology is immense. And these companies are at the forefront of this rapidly evolving field. And as always, we'll continue to keep you updated on the latest news and developments in the world of genomic investments. Friends, if you like this video, please do not hesitate to press the like button as it helps the channel. And if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe and help grow the channel. Subscription is absolutely free. Bye for now. I'll catch up with you again.